Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you guys want to check out my social media or check out a badass kick-ass original story, check out the links down in the description below. Hope you enjoy the video. If my kids ever misbehave, I'm definitely taking them to Willy's Wonderland. No doubt about it. Perfect punishment. No, I'm kidding. That's actually pretty horrible. Now, I think I heard about this film. It's probably over a year ago around a year ago i'm pretty sure this film was actually meant to be a 2020 film but i think they pushed it back because of all the stuff going on uh and this would have been a cool film to watch in theaters too it's actually been a while since i've seen a newer film i know this month i'm gonna have uh nomadland wrong turn and minari i'm gonna be reviewing those but uh it was nice to just sit back and watch a film on day one willie's wonderland and uh what a film now when i first heard about this film i was actually kind of bummed because and, and i wouldn't even say that this is a guilty pleasure. I, I don't know why it would be, but I'm a big fan of Five Nights at Freddy's. Like, I really do like Five Nights at Freddy's a lot. And I've been wanting to see a new Five Nights at Freddy's movie for a while, or not a new one, but a, you know, a movie of Five Nights at Freddy's. Seems like this is what we're going to get. Well, we're, we probably will get a Five Nights at Freddy's movie if it's still in the works, but I mean, Willy's Wonderland, not exactly what I had in mind for a Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Like, I don't even know why I'm comparing the two. Maybe the people that made this film don't want the comparison. Because maybe this was actually sort of an original idea they came up with. That they wanted to do. I mean, that's a possibility. I don't think so. But I I'm going to kind of just stop talking about Five Nights at Freddy's just because of that. Because I don't want to, like, cause any disrespect to the people that made the film. But yeah. Willie's Wonderland. Now, Nicolas Cage is in this film. And... Nicolas Cage, I mean, Con Air, National Treasure, uh, Treasure, Wicker Man, uh, what else was he in? He was in, uh, now, now he's been taking on these sort of crazy, wacky, kind of uh, goofy kind of roles. I wouldn't necessarily say goofy kind of roles, uh, but they're kind of not as serious. And I feel like those actually work pretty well for good old Nicolas Cage, because I actually like watching him in films like this, like uh, Mandy. Mandy was good. I mean, it had its problems. It actually had a lot of problems, but I still enjoyed the film. And then there was, a, there was a recent one, Color Out of Space. Color Out of Space was actually, it's kind of slow. I, you know, it wasn't the best film that I'd ever seen, obviously. But, I, I mean, it, it was still all right. You know, like, I do enjoy watching Nicolas Cage take on these roles. But the interesting thing about his role in Willy's Wonderland, he doesn't speak. He doesn't speak. That's, that's pretty interesting. Now, uh, does it work? Absolutely. I mean, it does work. It really does. It works pretty. It, it works pretty damn well. I, I will say, uh, he he really is just just kicking ass and killing animatronics. You know, that's just that's all he's doing. And essentially, what this film is about, uh, Nicholas Cage's character, his car breaks down. He gets towed to this town. Uh, he doesn't have the money to fix it, so they're like, okay, why don't you just fix up Willie's Wonderland? You, or uh, you can be hired as a janitor. You know, clean this place up, fix it up by tomorrow morning. Hey, you get your car back. That's pretty much the, the premise of the film. Uh, and, and like I said, surprisingly, it works. Like, everything about the film just works. For what this film is, like, you would think a low-budget film, $5 million. Uh, well, I mean, that's kind of low-budget. Uh, it, it, it's low-budget, I mean, in terms of, like, movie standards. But you would think that a film, $5, $5 million, with uh, Nicolas Cage just killing, you know, animatronics, I mean, what is it? You know, like, why would that be good? Why, in a world, how could that be good? Let me tell you guys, it's actually pretty good. Like, I actually really did enjoy it. More than I thought I would. Now, of course, the film, it has its problems. Like, uh, I, you know, I, and I don't want to say it's because of the acting. Uh, and I don't want to say it's because of the writing. But it could be a mixture of both. It is a mixture of both, I think. But overall, the performances I thought were fine. You know, they weren't distracting. Uh, Nicolas Cage kind of just gets a pass because he doesn't speak. But he has some pretty good body language going on. And prepare to go into this film with uh, some questions that are going to be unanswered. And I don't think we'll ever get them answered because I don't know if we'll get a sequel to this. Maybe, maybe not. I, I can't see it happening. Uh, and, and it would be so weird to have a sequel like this without Nicolas Cage. But we might get one. I don't know. Maybe not. Probably not. But there are going to be some unanswered questions. Uh, and they're unanswered questions that actually kind of bothered me. Because I really wanted to know what was going on. There were some scenes in this film uh, that I was just wanting to know. I wanted to know more about some of the characters. 
seriously you might not think but i mean watching it and you'll figure it out you'll you'll figure it out it's it's kind of annoying that we didn't figure some stuff out because they do go into this film around i'd say about halfway through and they do start talking about this origin story and they actually do this origin story pretty well i will say they they're able to cram an origin story in in a film that's like you know 100, 100 no no 90 minutes not, I was going to say under like 30 minutes, but no, I mean an hour and 30 minute long film. They're able to do that. And that's pretty impressive. Uh, it, that is pretty impressive. And they do have the action, the animatronic action. Uh, and the film is mainly just set in one location. Uh, you know, there's, there's, you know, some exceptions. There's some different places. But overall, yeah, it's just one location. And I'm going to keep saying this about the film. And, and I hate saying it, but it just works. It really does. It just works. I'm not pulling a Bethesda here, uh, but it really does just work. It, it's a pleasant surprise. Uh, if you are a fan of Five Nights at Freddy's, you might like this. Now, it doesn't have like Freddy Fazbear or Chica. Uh, it, it's got uh, Ozzy the Ostrich, <laughs> you know, uh, Willie the Rat, Meerkat. I don't know what it was, but yeah, they, they're, they're different animatronics. I don't want to call them generic because they're actually pretty decent i mean they've got their own sort of personality and stuff so yeah you know like willie's wonderland it's it's a, it's a treat uh i've heard some people say that it's pushing the rated r uh um uh, the the rated r rating and i've heard that from a few reviews i keep hearing this a lot and it's it's not a problem but it makes me think am i immune to all this blood and gore because when people say something's pushing like the rated r you know rating I expect to go in it thinking it's going to be like extremely bloody and gory and, you know, and, and this film's got it. It's got blood. It's got gore. I mean, it's got, you know, sexual stuff. It's got cussing, you know, but I don't know. It just doesn't have this like hard R sort of feel to it. Maybe I'm just immune to a bunch of stuff like that. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I, I, I went into this film thinking it was going to be extremely gruesome and to me it wasn't. Hey, it beats me. But anyway, Willy's Wonderland is definitely worth the watch. I cannot wait to see what Nicolas Cage is going to do next. Like, I really want to see him take on some pretty crazy roles. I would love to see him in a slasher. I've already decided that I really like horror Nicolas Cage or wacky, crazy horror Nicolas Cage, whatever it is. But and and I'm trying to think because I think after Color Out of Space, I think they said they were going to make like two more. Uh, Lovecraft films with Nicolas Cage. Uh, it was going to be a trilogy. I'm not exactly sure. I don't really know anything about that. I heard it once, so I don't know. Maybe I'll look at more up about it maybe after this video. But uh, but yeah, definitely check out Willy's Wonderland. You can watch it on Amazon Prime right now. I think you got to pay for it. I don't think it's part of Prime because we did. But uh, but yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you guys did, leave a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe. I hope you guys are staying safe wherever you're at. Enjoy Willy's Wonderland, and I'll see you guys next time.